paper tubes. Today, as I have promised, we will lead a masterclass of making a lead for our saucer. For this, just like for making a bottom, we prepare the tubes for the base. Uh, but here I would like to t say that in this case I use glue. While making tubes longer I don't uh, use glue, but when I connect the tubes of a base it is better to use glue, because while pulling the tubes apart we apply force and it happens sometimes that they slip out of each other. So, to evade uh, the problems uh, for tubes of the base, I use glue. As well, there is such a useful thing. I used to throw them away in the past uh, until I realized that I can use them for fancy work. Everybody must be familiar with this kind of pellet. Meat and different kind of convenience foods are usually sold in such. After usage one can wash it or throw it away. So we prepare again four groups of four tubes in each. While making a lead we will try to use another new variant of making a round bottom. We have examined two variants already, it will be the third one. We put our groups of four tubes in a somewhat different way. The first two groups crosswise and two more at an angle. We get such a star. Make the tips even. We can fix them with a closed pin, but it will hinder, so we try to do it this way. Press them a little to make our base flat. Take the working tubes and start twining the tubes in a similar way we know already. We hug the first group of tubes. Did it? Now we lead the upper tube under the next group and pull the tubes of the base even very carefully. Hold them a little and pass on further. Lead the upper tube under the next group of four tubes. Pull a little. Lead the upper tube under the next group. Try not to break an angle between the tubes. Holding the lower tube, we lead the upper one under the following group. Press a little. Continue. Lead the upper tube underneath, pull a little. Take the next upper tube, lead beneath. Here the tubes don't slide apart much anymore. Continue. And finish the circle. Make it even, pull. That's it. Start the second circle. One, two. The method is the same. Now we can stop circling around our wicker work. The item is rather thick and dense already. 
so we can turn it around. We hold the places of connection with our fingers and don't pull too hard. This way. In this case, when I pull the tubes, uh, the tubes break sometimes. That is why I use glue for the base. Continue. In the places of connection, be very careful. Start the third row. After three or four rows are finished, we pull the groups of four tubes and make the groups of two tubes. We know this method already. Our item will be neat because we played it thick. Thick pattern is when the distance between the tubes is short. As soon as it gets bigger, we reduce it. We do it this way by pulling the tubes apart, at first into the groups of two tubes, three or four rows again, but the quantity of rows will depend on the diameter. When there is about an inch left till the sideboards of the item, we start shaping the lid. What we do? We take one pole from each group of two tubes and pull it toward ourselves and continue twining only these poles around. We braid them in the same way. I remind you that this way of braiding is called rope or braiding with two tubes. Lengthen the tubes and continue. Notice that the tube that used to be closer to me goes away. Lengthen the next tube. Try it this way. Got it. Bend it at first. And now the tube that was closer to me goes behind the tube of the base. Bend the next pole and leave the tube that was closer behind it. Bend the next and transpose them. And this way, alternating in the same way as we were braiding a horizontal base, we continue braiding the poles raised up. And one tube line horizontally is left in each group. And continue this way until we braid all the poles. We have to braid this way two, three, four rows. For convenience, I have let the tubes outside. It is more convenient to braid this way. So we've made four rows. Now our task is to tuck the working tubes into the wicker work neatly. For the item to look completed and for nothing to stick out to hinder. We know this method already. With the help of a knitting needle, 
we tuck the tubes through three, four rows of the item and then we will cut the tubes neatly. Here the seam. Our three or four rows will let us do it. Here we have some little trouble, but it is paper, we have glue and we can solve all the problems. We can fix it even now. This way, got it. Now we have tucked the working tubes inside, now we have to carefully tuck in the tubes of the base. I propose to do it in the same simple way. We pull them this way and make them somewhat round so that they do not break off while bending. One can do it with the help of uh, scissors, but my tubes are soft so I can easily do it with a hand. I won't get any clones, there are not too many tubes and they are soft. So, the same way. Unbend a couple of rows, tuck the tubes inside carefully. Tuck the next tube into the next hole. This way, pull a little and put inside carefully. Prepare the space for the tube again and push it inside carefully. So, we tuck in the last tube of the base. And the sideboard of the lid is ready. You've probably guessed already that it is our sideboard. In the meantime, I propose not to cut these leaves, because if we cut them, our tubes can disengage themselves. There are only two rows holding them. Not enough for the tubes to hold densely. You see, the tubes fall out. Of course, uh, we will glue them up, but when it will be more convenient. In the meantime, our task is to braid two, three rows more of the base of the lid. Look and try to fit it once again. This way. That's it. Two or three rows will be enough. What we do? Connect the tubes for convenience. And start braiding in a familiar method of rope. Lead the lower tube up and the upper tube down. The lower tube up, the upper tube down. It is not very convenient this way, let's turn the item. It will be much easier this way. In a familiar way. We have made three rows and again our task is to tuck the tips of the working tubes in. We hide the tubes of the base this way. Put them carefully inside of the item and pull. Here we look and uh, try to avoid meeting a pole, find a hole and push it inside with a neat needle. So. So 
So the last tube of the base, we hide it inside. Here we have an almost completed item. To complete it fully, I advise to put a drop of glue onto each hole of our sideboard at first. Then drop a bit of glue into each hole of the base of the lid. And then as a rule in the morning, when the glue gets dry, to cut all these tips. Dropping glue. If necessary, pull the tubes inside. Doing the same with the side holes. The only thing left is to make uh, a knob for the lid. It will be round shaped. Take two thin tubes, wind onto two or three fingers. Three fingers are more convenient. So we've got such a circle. We can tie it with a thread or can start braiding right away. I leave a tip for tucking into the lid. And winding it round, winding round. So we finished winding the last ring. And we've got such a neat circle. Now our task is fixing it. The longer the tips are, the more convenient it is, but we will use what we have. Try to do it evenly. Distribute at an angle and fix. We have tucked the tips of the tubes into the holes prepared with a knitting needle. Turn the item, turn the lid, and we can carefully fix the tips under the tubes of the base. Put through carefully one and then the second tip in the same way. Fix as usually with the help of PVA glue. To be on the safe side, we can take one more tube and using it like a thread to fix the knob a few times more, passing it through as if tying it. We can take it out from another side. We have fixed the knob and we've got such a lid. Get the remainders away. Cut the tips of the tubes. We have cut the remainders of the tubes along the base of the sideboard. 
We have also cut the tips of the tube we were fixing the knob breed. And now, to avoid unstableness, we can fix the knob with school glue in this position as well. That's all, the lid is ready. Try it on. It fits. We have made the item itself, have made the lid for it. In the next lesson we will get to know how to ground and to paint the item. See you next time!